Okay, we had a failure. So I put on my thinking cap. Okay, it works too. Uh, we blew an instant it came right out of there. Okay, just with blowing them. What we're going to do is turn this upside down, put some of this context mat, and this will set overnight. So that makes this a two part video. We're still going to post this video because somebody may come up with a better idea. You know, feel free to come up with an idea. You could have just put some silicone sealer in there, like RTV, something for your car. We're going to put some contacts men in there. And then we're going to push it down level because this has a step in there. So the rubber's going to get bigger. The glue, I should say. So we're going to push in there until it's level. That will be your lens on this side. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And then we'll be back. And we still have to figure out how we're going to, we're kind of doing, we're kind of filming this on the fly here, how we're going to do this. We're either going to contact, we're going to contact cement this for sure. We don't know if we're going to fill that with glue or not. We may. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, we did take our big fat Sharpie and color that plastic, but I think this will work. It's been about a half hour and I blew through it real lightly. And I did keep my finger there just in case. So I think that's going to work. I may make another one the same way. Put the hot glue in it, let it cure, flip it around, use that like a rubber plug and shove that in there. Okay. This we have our penny in here with contact cement. Ooh, be careful. That stuff. You're supposed to let it set and get tack on both sides. I'm, I'm using it as a sealer. It's tomorrow in 24 hours it'll be cured. I made a little project out of a tin can I had to glue part of it on. I'll have the video on that. And it's like a nice little rubber seal. It's probably the same glue as you fix your air mattress with or something. But like I said, we may put some hot glue in there and level that off. Because we don't want to lose any room on the inside. We want as much room as we can get in this container is what we're up to. So and then we'll have this measurement in there too of what the inside ID is, inside diameter, and the total length of what you can fit in here. We also saved the little string, your lanyard. So we have that. So uh, we'll be back with this rest of this video tomorrow when everything is cured. And we will give it a water test. If it's a fail, we'll let you know. But still, we're still going to post the video no matter what and see if anybody else has any other ideas of how they would do it because I have a bunch of these I have probably five more of these flashlights and they're junk once the batteries go dead use the LEDs are flickering I throw them in a junk drawer so thanks for watching this part or whatever parts this is uh, this may be on part two depends on how long my video has run so far okay we're done we still don't know if this is going to be a two-part video or one long video. I did go ahead and put some hot glue in there. That's some nice Sharpie marker to color it. Of course, that's my failure, which I've got it fixed. I think if I make another one, I'm going to put the lens in there and fill it full of silicone. I'm going to go buy a tube of it. No more glue stick. It won't stick to the metal very good. This does have some context met holding the penny in. There will be pictures in there. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Okay, we have some dryer lint. And there's the penny, of course. We have some dryer lint in there. We'll just put it right back in there. Okay, that's a good, good place for that. Okay, let's see what we got in here. We have... A small piece of paper folded up, which you could put more. We have four alcohol pads rolled up and taped with some tape so they stay rolled up. Okay, so we have that. We have our striker, which we folded over this way. So you don't rub a match pulling out. There is a trick where you put a match in there and pull it out of there. You, know, you stick it inside here and then pull it out. I watch too much YouTube. Anyway, we got some fat wood. What this is is pine wood. 
There's a dozen matches. And a few of them don't want to come out. Trust me, there's a dozen in there. They're kind of sticking there with static cling. That's it. Okay, there's a dozen of them. Okay, what well, fat wood is, is just sappy pine. If you cut down a pine tree, or if you, someone cut the limb off a pine tree, if you go back there uh, in the woods, cut, let's say you cut a limb off, and leave it stick off from the tree about a foot, and go back there every so often, and then cut like another four inches, all that sap will be there, just like the stump. You find a stump of a freshly cut down tree, it's been cut like a month, month or so, you get all that sap in there. This is from a really old board. It's probably a hundred year old board, okay? So, we will show you what it burns like. I'm gonna start a big fire here. We'll get our can of water. Okay. We'll try that match thing. Okay, that's real sappy. Some of it burns way faster. Burn like it has kerosene or something in it. So we'll put that out and set it there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, smoke. Oh man. Anyway, we're done. <clears throat> man, that's nasty. It ain't like that nice smelling candle. I've been burning this all day with the glue stick. Big berry pie. It smells kind of like grape mixed with some kind of berry. So I've been smelling that all day. A lot better than that stinky stuff. So there you go. I'll take a picture of all the ingredients that was inside of here. Thanks for watching.